On this week's John Dulong Show, the first foray into the new format here on a Friday. Let's start the show. Well, hey, hello, and how are you? Welcome to episode number 33 of the John Dulong Show. So glad to have you here on a Friday afternoon. I'm doing this a little bit later than normal because screw you, that's why. (laughs) I talk about it on the show a little bit uh, as we get to Thursday. uh, Basically, the editing of this didn't go as smoothly as I was expecting or as I was hoping. I'm trying something new with the show. So, uh, you know, we had a little bit of a hiccup. I think I might actually start going, and I'm going to play this up front i think i maybe talk about it as well um thursday of course i recorded that yesterday and i don't remember what i had for breakfast this morning let alone what i did yesterday um i'm I'm thinking about actually starting to do this show on uh on fridays in the afternoons rather than uh uploading it at 7 a.m uh atlantic time it just gives me a little bit of wiggle room in terms of uh if i need to edit it um in the uh, in the morning typically speaking i'm out of school a little bit earlier on fridays um, so I have a little bit of opportunity to uh, to do the last little touches and get the show uploaded, um, get the social media stuff out there. Uh, so that's all ready, and I can maybe provide a uh, you know maybe a slightly better show. Um, so on on today's show, we're starting this um, this experiment that I'm doing with the uh, the week in the life. So uh, every day except for Monday, because for some reason that did not save a little little piece of whatever I'm thinking about or whatever's going on in my life on that particular day. Um, this week was pretty action-packed, to be honest. Um, we start with uh, with the sad news on Friday of both uh, both the conservative win. God, that feels like so long ago in Ontario. Um, and then also, uh, also the untimely passing of Anthony Bourdain from an apparent suicide. Uh, we're also talking about a massive forest fire here in uh, the Halifax Regional Municipality. Um, also talking about a fair amount of World Cup fever. Um, in fact... As I'm recording this right now, uh, Spain and Portugal are not long from kicking off. That's the uh, it's kind of the first tasty game that's uh, that's on offer. So I'll be <laughs> I'll be watching that with uh, with open eyes and uh, and open hearts. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be tweeting uh, tweeting periodically about the World Cup. I think I might throw my bracket on uh, online there just. Uh, just going to give a rough idea of how I things are how I think things are going to go. I'm not going to necessarily go game by game with it. Um, just give you a sense of who I think's coming out of the groups, in what positions, and uh, you know, give a sense of how uh, how I think it's all going to shake out. I've got a little uh, little pool going on in my class uh, between myself, a couple of other soccer watching friends, and uh, and our t- instructor who doesn't watch any football at all, which is fun. Um, so we're gonna start right away. Just a little quick music sting here, and we'll be moving right in to Friday. Hope you enjoy. If you do like this, I'll give you the information at the end of the show, of course, but email into the uh, the show, johndulongshow at gmail.com if you enjoy this new format. I'm going to try it for a couple of weeks, like I said, see how it goes, um, see if I like it. I kind of like it so far. You know, it's it's new, um, so maybe uh, maybe it'll lose some of its luster, but I like, I like uh, that I've been able to go over a number of different topics uh, that I normally wouldn't be able to fit into a show. Uh, just because of the the way that I'm doing it. So here we go, Friday. All right, Friday, June the eighth. First crack of the new format. First uh, first go. First day. Today was not a particularly happy day in terms of uh, in terms of the news. Um, of course, we uh, we heard about, we learned about uh, last night's election in Ontario. Turns out I am bad at predicting elections. Looks like it's a uh, Doug Ford majority, so four years of Ford. Good luck, Ontario. Um, I am scared for people that I care about. I'm worried about them, uh, and I hope that they will be okay. Uh, the best thing, I guess, like you know, that can come out of this, you know, t- take the humor, I guess, where you can. Um, Doug Ford, uh, one of the, his big platform pieces, you know, in the tiny platform that they did release was that they were going to char- start charging a dollar a beer, uh, for like two fours. So like a, t- a two four would cost $24, cut the beer tax down. Um, so buck a beer that, that was going to be the, uh, the big promise from the, uh, progressive conservatives and at the press, progressive conservative, uh, victory party, uh, 
ten dollar beers at the cash bar, <laughs> which like, oh my god, it's it's fan it's fantastic in its terribleness. But um, you know, the beat goes on. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything will be okay. But I think it's going to be four years of realizing that um, that the that Doug Ford really has no plan uh, and wasn't the shrewd uh, politician that he uh, was, you know, advertised to be uh, in the media. Like, it, it's it's hilarious how, like, he just, he, he said that he was a, a great steward in Toronto and, like, everybody saw how, the world saw what Toronto was like when it was uh, Doug and, of course, his brother Rob as, as the, uh, as the, as the mayor of Toronto. Like, it, did, did the province just sort of look at what was going on in, in Toronto and say, yeah, that's, that's okay. We want some of that. I just don't get it. Um, such is how it is. Um, other piece of news that uh, that came out was a bit of a bummer. Um, Anthony Bourdain dead at 61 uh, from an apparent suicide. Um, here's the thing, and I'm sure you've read uh, similar takes all over the internet. Um, you know, Anthony Bourdain was a highly successful, highly driven, passionate, motivated father of an 11 year old girl. Um, he created art. Um, in his television, he made, uh, he made travel and he made food. He made exploring cultures, um, beautiful. He made it seem cool. Uh, and, uh, you know, his, his television shows, um, were absolutely beautiful. I haven't actually read much of his writing, uh, which is actually a damn shame. Um, I feel a little bit bad because like now it's like, I, I've wanted to get a copy of kitchen confidential in particular, um, for, you know, for months now. And, uh, now it's like, I feel, I feel weird about it, I guess. But, um, you know, I, I absolutely need to, uh, need to pick up a copy of that. Um, you know, my point is, is that, you know, he was all of these things. He was talented and driven and successful and the father of a, of a, a little girl. And, um, you know, depression does not, uh, does not give a shit. Um, say, saw the same sort of thing with, uh, with Kate Spade, of course. Um, here she was, uh, you know, just, just about to start a, a new line or just started a new line of, uh, her designer handbags and, uh, she took her own life, um, despite her success. Um, depression is an absolute son of a bitch. And, um, I would, uh, I would really highly recommend, um, if you, uh, if you see someone in your life who needs help, um, if you yourself are, are struggling, uh, reach out to the appropriate, uh, the appropriate authorities, you know, um, go out there. We've, you know, I, I've, I've had my own dark thoughts, uh, in my past. I've, I've struggled with my own depression. Um, a lot of, uh, a lot of my mental health problems sort of manifest in anxiety, but I've definitely, uh, I've definitely struggled with my own, uh, my own bouts with depression. Um, suicide is 100%. Uh, preventable um, and it's a, it's just a real absolute shame uh, I do want to uh, t- take a second to throw a little bit of shade in the direction of Newsweek uh, Newsweek decided to go the route of um, of clickbait in reporting on uh, reporting on this tragic death so here are just some of the headlines that went on Newsweek's website. Like, didn't Newsweek used to be a somewhat respectable magazine? Like, wasn't that kind of their gig? They were, like, re- like competing with, like, time? Like, I don't... Uh, so, um, who is Anthony Bourdain's daughter, Ariane? Celebrity chef, found dead at 61. What is uh, Anthony Bourdain's net worth? Chef, found dead at 61, built cooking empire, but money wasn't top concern. Who is Eric Rippart, Anthony Bourdain's friend and fellow chef? Who is Anthony Bourdain's ex-wife, Octavia Busia? Chef, found dead at 61. Who is Anthony Bourdain's girlfriend, Daisy Argentino? Found death. Chef, found dead at 61. Like, it's just these fucking disgusting, scummy, grimy, terrible headlines. Like, maybe just lead with the actual headline. Beloved chef, TV presenter, and author, Anthony Bourdain, found dead at 61. And then maybe you want to talk about, you know, who these people in his life were, who uh, who are the people most likely to be missing him. Maybe at that point you can do that, but my God, just absolutely, uh, absolutely awful 
grungy, disgusting headline that uh, that just does not belong on a website uh, of that um, apparent caliber. Apparently, I was wrong about Newsweek. I don't know. Just uh, really, really disappointing uh, and really disgusting. Anyhow, uh, Anthony Bourdain, dead at 61. Very sad, but, um, you know, also happy to read all over social media. Very, uh, very little in terms of people being crappy about it. I mean, there's always going to be one or two, but um, mostly just people talking about um, how beautiful uh, Anthony Bourdain made their world. Uh, how much of a uh, how much of an improvement he did make on the world of his fans worldwide, and uh, that's that is really nice. So I was I was glad to read all of that. Of course, uh, a great deal of sadness, but also uh, a real celebration of the man's life. Um, what else has gone on? Um, Kenny Dalglish, uh, former Liverpool manager, and of course, uh, All right, we're on to Sunday, course, guys. Uh, honestly, this is probably going to well, be the quickest update uh, of the week. Was granted uh, a knighthood. Basically, so all I'm doing today is great. homework. King Kenny, I have Sir Kenny a fair amount of um, homework left to do. Uh, I'm writing that as well for school, um, and they're complicated. Also, thoroughly enjoyed um, as a lot of legal documents are reading but, uh, uh, yeah. you know what an infographic it's, from it's a challenge that I am uh, looking forward one to of the, uh, one of the footballs um, um, uh, really I know per Twitter accounts that I follow a lot uh, uh, I had intended to get Kane. up bright and early uh, this morning got, uh, ended up falling got, back asleep he, he resigned alarm went off contract. And, and um, it was a it was a look we are. a breakdown of Early, all of his uh, goals. You know, this late season. late morning headers. I'm sitting down to uh, foot, to get to work on the right. Foot. So I've got, I've got my like ground. One work other, down. Just, uh, <laughs> just some of the, uh, some uh, of the uh, you scored uh, twenty nine there, Harry. I'm gonna sorry. Take some time. You scored twenty nine. Uh, you goof. You know, making um, sure that I actually. I'm get looking to, forward get, to get cheering all for you. Stuff like that. Luckily, like I'm pretty strong. Which starts next Thursday. So the actual writing of it is just a matter of actually doing it. Maybe. Have my um, thoughts, so, my early thoughts on uh, the World Cup. A little bit of news that I've read uh, coming today. up uh, um, later on CM Punk, in today's show when we, uh, uh, when we get to his Thursday. Fight in the UFC, Although I'm not so sure I'm going to watch this week, which is uh, Russia versus uh, Iran. He, uh, he won, um, uh, of we'll see the lawsuit that we talked about if, uh, on last week's show. If I can um, and, um, carve out some time for you know, it, just kind of got picked I'll, apart in the octagon. You, um, I'm not going to. Uh, uh, I'm not going to waste Jackson, a great deal of time trying to find uh, you know, trying to find myself uh, somewhere after, to watch uh, that one. Fight with uh, the distance. On a replay. Of course, the, the uh, I didn't World watch being the fight. In Russia, to be honest with you, uh, uh, most of the games are on here. I don't know. I just I've never really gotten into UFC. Like I've watched. You know, it is it is really a question of Lesnar's fights. I watched and I watched Punk's first fight. I didn't because I didn't watch this one yet. I might a whole lot of games I might, I might seek it out you know because, uh, you know you know um, even I though I the know door the, for uh, the for school obviously. For eight, eight, um, 8 a.m. From what I understand, and, uh, Punk, uh, Punk showed can't a lot really of hurt. watch. He was obviously out game by, while uh, I'm being lectured too. And um, it's just was, uh, uh, was bound I guess to lose this his is fight, up, guys. From the, All right, uh, from the get-go. on to uh, on to Saturday. Uh, you, know, I guess. You, you think you, you take into account that uh, that CM Punk is knocking on forty and is not a trained fighter. He hasn't he hasn't trained in any of the MMA um, disciplines really. His background is professional wrestling. Um, right, Saturday. So we got up early. Two years years the girlfriend and I went down to the Seaport uh, Farmers Market. Didn't really have the opportunity there, uh, and have we, the uh, eventually found ourselves at uh, the Chapters, the local bookstore. Um, I picked up I think um, that, that's a, a copy really of Shakespeare's portion. Sonnets. Unfortunately, they didn't have a copy of Kitchen Confidential, uh, but the girlfriend's going to look at her local bookstore for that for me. They said that it should have. They should have it in stock at the uh, at the Coles or whatever in uh in bedford so she's going to take a look at that f- for that for me um so i got yeah i got a book of shakespeare's sonnets here um because i've always wanted to try and learn sonnets try and uh memorize them just you know seems like a fun party trick more than anything else so what the hell i'm actually going to read one uh just because i can uh it's my favorite sonnet it's sonnet number 130 my mistress' eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips red. If snow be white, why then her breasts are done? If hairs be wires, black wires grow on her head. I have seen roses damasked red and white, but no such roses see I in her cheeks. And in some perfumes there is more delight than in the breath that from my mistress reeks. I love to hear her, hear her speak, yet well I know that music hath a more pleasing sound. I grant I never saw a goddess go. My mistress, when she walks, treads on the ground. And yet, by heaven, I think my love is rare. 
as any she belied with false compare. Absolutely love that one because it's just Shakespeare being a bit of a bit.